These fish are extremely rare. Oh guys, look who's here. Now they have a couple ponds out here. It's so beautiful, look at them all. It's like a jungle out here. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy, the Hawaiian Fish Keeper. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha. Do your boy a favor, okay? And hit that like button. Now, if you guys are wondering where I'm at, I'm at none other than Geyser Pets in Yuba City. That's you guys up. come on down. Yep, see? What's up, my man? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? All man? right. If you guys don't know, He's the one who got Susan Lucci and Gucci, my Mbuna, back in the day. Now check it out, YouTube's analytics are telling me that a large amount of you guys that watch my videos are not even subscribed. Why don't you guys do me a favor? This is the perfect opportunity to hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. It's called a notification bell. Do your boy a favor, hit that bell, turn it on. It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video. And then you're part of the Ohana and you'll be cool like everybody else. It's been a while since I've been here at Geyser Pets, so I figured I'd touch base with outside before we go inside. Now they have a couple ponds out here where they actually sell some beautiful koi, some beautiful goldfish, and check it out. And they have turtles too. <laughs> Look at him, he's scared. Don't be scared, my man. We mean you no harm. They have a bunch of outside ponds, so when you're done viewing everything inside, Come outside here. It's like a jungle out here. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. <laughs> it's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. <laughs> As you can see, the various goldfish that they have in here, albino, some tricolor ones, some really big ones too. Beautiful bright oranges. Yeah. All right. Enough of out here. Look at look at all the big pieces of driftwood they have. Big pieces of rock all the way down. Yeah, huge, massive pieces of driftwood. Let's just take a little stroll. Look at, this is a huge piece. Look at this thing. It's probably about, it's gotta be about maybe eight feet long. Big, huge piece of driftwood. Look at this one here. Statement, I'm, going, I'm putting my hand in the shot so you can kinda, you know, use it as a guide. But yeah, it's a big piece of driftwood. Look at this one here, huge heavy too so they're probably waterlogged ready to put into an aquarium pretty cool look at the root system to this plant here natural filtration all right let's go inside and check it out oh guys look who's here it's franklin the store mascot now franklin is about 20 21 years old cicada turtle or tortoise i'm sorry bud look at him go huh yeah, he just roams around the store, guys. This is his job. He meets and greets customers. He's gonna try to make a run for the front door. See the front doors right there? But watch what happens when he tries to make a run for the front door. Let's watch him in action. Let's watch him. Let's watch what he does. Watch what happens, see? Yep. Watch this. Watch this, yeah, nice try, Franklin. Doors. Boom, you just got served. And you suckers got served. Now he's gonna make a U-turn. Come on by, guys are pets, guys. See Franklin, the 20-year-old Cicadas tortoise. Cicadas, Cicada, am I saying that wrong? I don't know why, I always think about, what's that singer's name? Cicada, what was that guy's name? You guys help me, there was a singer, gosh, I wanna say in the early 90s, named uh, something Cicada. Anyways, huge tortoise. He's probably gonna go eat that magazine right there. Okay, so check it out. If you're new to the channel and you've never seen where I did a store tour here in Geyser Pets, they're actually well known for something in this store. This aquarium, 800 gallon sand. It's got huge monster fish. I'm super excited. I can't wait to show you guys this tank. Wait till you guys. Uh oh, it's completely empty. Oh man, I, I promise you guys, I promise you guys, this tank here, this 800 gallon aquarium was full of monster fish. Hold on, let me show you exactly 
what this tank used to look like. There's a monster. He's like two feet. Sorry about that. Uh-huh. Ooh-wee. Man, every time I, I forget about this big monster fish tank they got. Look at this dude. That dude's a beast. Giant garamis. Man. Red devil. Gosh. Clown knife. We got some Oscars in here. Ooh. Giant catfish. See, I told you guys I wasn't messing around. There were some monster fish in this aquarium, but I did find out what they're doing here. So basically they got rid of all the monster fish. Yeah, all those fish that you saw in the video there, they're gone. Yeah, pretty wild, right? What they're going to do, you can kind of see the scape in the background, you see it? Rocks, they got seeds. They're actually planting a whole carpet. So they have the water in here for humidity. This stays on all night. And they have that tube over there too. You see this? I don't know if you guys can see the tube. I'll zoom in on it for you guys. So you got this tube here that's running the water to keep it humid in here. You see this tube on this side? If you follow it up, you see that bottle of yellow goodness? That's not pee, all right? It's chamomile tea, where this being pumped into the aquarium is gonna eliminate any fungus that's gonna grow here in the aquarium. And this is day three, and it's actually working. There's no fungus growing anywhere in this aquarium. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they're doing this. They turned this monster tank into a huge community tank. They're gonna put uh, like a thousand rainbow fish in here, they said. They're gonna plant it, all live plants. So 800 gallons, live plants, more of a community style tank. We're gonna come back and we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get some footage on that once it's done. It's gonna be so cool. But check this out. This is like one of my favorite pieces here in the store. It's an above the ground koi pond. Now check out this waterfall. It runs all the way up and they have a bunch of pothos. Look how long the pothos runs. All the way down there, right? They're doing a huge water change on this above the ground pond, but look at all the koi. So beautiful, look at them all. Well, we can get really close to them. What's up guys? Look at them all. So many different colors. I actually bought a koi here. My big, beautiful white koi, I actually got from Geyser Pets two years ago. Just a little FYI. Ooh, they even have a black koi. I just saw a black koi in here. They have a black koi. You don't see too many black kois. Ooh, they even have a high fin shark. Look at right there. If you can see them through the branches, look at them. Chinese high fin shark. That is super cool. Big pleco too, wow. Look at it though, they even like got some huge pieces of driftwood in here. Like you can see the water line, right? That's where the water line usually is. Yeah, so cool place though. So I've said before in previous videos, this place here, Geyser Pets, is your one-stop shop. Check it out. They got saltwater fish here. They got various corals too as well. They have a nice huge selection of freshwater fish. They got poison dart frogs. They got various species of snakes. They got all types of monitors, lizards, and tortoises here too as well. Check out, if you're looking for a bird, they also have birds here too. They have rats, mice, hamsters, and they also carry all the dry goods you need, cats and dogs included. I told you guys, Geyser Pet, your one-stop shop. If you need anything, they pretty much have it here. Oh, this is one of my favorite parts of the store too. This is what I call the Great Wall of Fame. If you look at every single one of these aquariums, they are scaped, individually different. You got like this white rock here, you got some slate work here, some uh, lava rock in this one, just a ton of different types of driftwood, spider wood, um, I mean, manzanita wood. I mean, look at this scape here, look at this one. Look at that. That's beautiful, right? It's got a little carpet going on with the rocks, the little nano fish. Wait a minute, speaking of nano fish, maybe we need to get something for the seven gallon Ultim Nature Systems tank, huh? Yeah. Ooh, how about some of these dwarf maculata rasboras, huh? That would be cool, huh? We get a couple of those, maybe three or four of those and put that in the tank. Ooh, how about some gold white cloud minnows? That would be kind of cool, right? So my vision for that tank was to get something unique, something different, you know, not like your normal nano fish, you know? Hmm, let me see here. 
Wait a minute, wait a minute. What about these? What about these? Check out these little guys, huh? Those are chili micro rasboras. Ah, oh, these would look pretty cool. I love the fact that they're micro too. That would be really cool, like a school of them. Maybe like five, six of these. You know what, I'm sitting here looking at all these tanks and different fish. Why don't we just do what we always do? Hit the B-roll. So check it out. These fish are extremely rare to find, even at your local fish stores, but they have them here at Geyser Pets. Check it out. The very elusive African mud skippers. Check it out, guys. They got some African mud skippers. Look at them back there. They got three of them. They're super shy, super skittish. You guys see them back there? African mud skipper, huh? Ooh, check out the saltwater fish. Hey, check out the Hawaii State fish, guys. You guys know what this fish is called? I know Bugs Bunny knows what it's called. Go ahead and tell him, Bugs. All right, guys, I don't even know if you're ready for this, but I'm about to show you guys the largest cichlid in the world. This, my friends, is the Emperor Cichlid, the largest cichlid in the world. It gets to about 30 inches. Yep, look at that. He was actually in the monster tank the 800 gallon tank. I'm glad they didn't get rid of him. He is a monster. He's between 16 and 18 inches long. This dude is a monster of a fish. Look at him. The emperor cichlid. You never see an emperor cichlid in a local fish store. It's very rare. I should just say it's very rare. I shouldn't say never. Beautiful. The emperor cichlid. All right, my Ohana, check it out. I actually just found the other store mascot, Levi. He's actually another, I think he's about 20 years old too. Iguana, check him out. I'm just saying, if you guys were just walking in the store and not paying attention and checking out tanks and lizards and, and reptiles and, and snakes, and then all of a sudden, boom, this guy's peeking boo right here. Look at him, peekaboo. What's up, Levi? Look at him, he is a monster. Levi is no joke. He is the other store mascot who just roams the store whenever he wants. Pretty wild, right? When do you have a local fish store that has a 20-year-old tortoise rolling around the store? And not only that, though, they have a humongous iguana just cruising the store with the customers. 
I think it's pretty awesome. Definitely unique. All right, so I'm gonna get three of these and I'm gonna actually pick up. My man Kyle's bagging it up for me. I don't know about you guys, but when I actually get fish, the mood that I'm in is sort of like this. Cue the music. <laughs> to do this to you but in our next video i will reveal what i picked up here at geyser pets i had a blast big shout out to jeff and the entire crew here uh always have a blast when i'm here so i will see you guys on the next video all right stay tuned to see what i picked up much love and aloha